Welcome, what you're about to watch is a video from my course, Getting Started with Apple Reminders, which is gonna show you how to add tasks to Apple Reminders. Pretty easy, but this is gonna show you all the different methods that you can use, which ones are better, and we'll talk a little bit about how it all works. You can get the whole course by going to Skillshare, find a link to that in the description, or by going to curtismichaelca slash membership and get the whole course, get all of my courses included by becoming a member. Have an awesome day. In this video, we're gonna look at adding tasks in Reminders. Now, before we do that, we should look at the settings to see setting up our default list. So I've already created a list called Inbox, and if we go to Settings to access by command comma on Mac OS, I can choose which is my default list. And I want that to be my inbox so that every uh, item that comes in that doesn't have a list assigned to it will automatically add to the inbox so I can process it later. Now, adding tasks quickly is actually one of the biggest drawbacks to reminders on Mac OS because it doesn't actually have a quick command that a lot of other task managers have. So you can see I brought up things three here. And if I type my keyboard command, I actually have a new item for a list and I can add notes to it and I can add lots of other things quickly from anywhere in the operating system because that's how things three is set up to work. Now Reminders doesn't have that. We'll talk about a tool called Good Task later that does let you add some of that and also Fantastic Hell does let you add a quick entry um, via a third party app to Reminders. For now, there's a few ways to add it. So you can see I have Reminders up in front of me. If I click anywhere in here, it'll start adding a new reminder. I can also hit Command N to add a new reminder. And now I would put in the title. So this is the title of my task. And I can even at this moment use the pound symbol to add a tag. And you can see it's turning to autofill for me. So I could say that this is a writing task. And if I hit tab, I can start to fill in my note notes for my task. The one thing it doesn't do very well is move this uh, tag right here of writing down to my tags. So I could still add a writing as a second tag. It's a kind of a UI foible in there. And there's also tags here as well. So it doesn't show any indication right now that there has been a tag selected by you know changing the color of this pound symbol. Now there are some other things you can do to add more parameters to it. If I hit the I on the corner, I can choose to add a day or I can add locations or I can add it when messaging a person. This is a new feature in iOS, iPadOS and Ventura. So what if I want to be reminded of something when I'm going to uh, be say messaging my wife, I can have it show up in messages for me right away there. I can also add priorities here if I want. So I can add low, medium, or high. I can add a URL or images as well. And I can flag the task um, from the secondary pop-up window on Mac OS. I already showed you a little bit of the natural language, but if I wanted to say, um, take out garbage tomorrow at 10 a.m. So now I actually wanna click on this and this will start scheduling my task for tomorrow at 10 a.m. to take out the garbage for me. So there is some natural language processing in there, right? We can use a tag with the pound symbol and we can use dates in sort of natural language as well. Now on iOS and uh, iPadOS, we actually have a few other options that can make task management just a little faster. So one thing you can see here is if I long press on the icon, I now have an option of different lists I can put it in. I can put it in my PC quick menu, Proud City, Family, or in my inbox if I want. So if I hit inbox, and take me right to the inbox and new inbox task. And I can do that quite easily. Another thing we can do is we can, in the bottom corner, uh, left-hand corner, you can see I can add a new reminder from anywhere. Because my inbox is my default list, I can have it directly into my inbox. You can see that the list was selected for me automatically. Now, if I was inside a list, let's say look at my reminders course and I add a reminder, it's going to add it inside the list automatically for me, which again, makes sense because that's the list I'm inside. Now, second, if I touch the details, that's where it brings up my other stuff where I can add in dates. I can choose to add a time. I can choose repeat uh, as well if I wanna repeat things. I can choose from the tags or I can add a new tag. I can choose a location if I wanted, or I can choose one messaging and then choose the person. I can choose to flag it if I want. I can choose to set the priority as well. I can choose again to switch the list that it's in. And I can also add subtasks from here as well. Now, one note as we look at this about reminders and locations is that location is only available for a specific reminder. This does mean that I can't say tag everything as hardware and then be reminded of all of my hardware tasks at the hardware store. Unfortunately, unlike things three, we also cannot do this 
um, with a automation, personal automation and shortcuts because you do not have access and shortcuts to smart lists like my hardware list, which I'll talk more about later. Another excellent way to access this is uh, via the share sheet. So I'm in Safari right now. Say so I wanted to be reminded to purchase this hard drive. I can hit the share sheet in the bottom and then I would hit reminders and it will actually embed some of the data for me as well. So you can see I've got the full name of it. I wouldn't want that. So I would actually select all, delete by HDD. And that you can see that has a link embedded below for me and the description if I want it. Then I would hit add and it'll automatically be added to my inbox. When I come and look at my inbox, you can see by HDD is in there already for me. You find the share sheet in most applications in iOS and iPadOS. So you get a lot of embedded data in there. Like you saw the site was embedded automatically for me in reminders when I used it from Safari and notes, you'll actually see a link to the note automatically. Lots of other applications provide rich data to reminders so you can have more information with your tasks as you're going.